My cold take of the week is that the movie The Prestige is like the most overrated movie of all time. So just a quick warning, spoilers ahead. So this movie gets a lot of leeway because it's a Christopher Nolan movie and it's also got Hugh Jackman and Christian Bale. So everyone pretty much unanimously loves The Prestige. And quite frankly, everything about this movie just seems like it's going to be awesome. But I think it's some of the laziest and sloppiest movie writing I've ever witnessed. Especially for how much praise this movie gets, I really just don't get all the hype. So here's my problem. The movie essentially has two big twists. And essentially the movie is about two competing magicians, one being Hugh Jackman, the other being Christian Bale. And both of them are competing to essentially be the better magician, aka who can do the better tricks. Deep into the movie, we finally get to the very first twist. And the very first twist is that Christian Bale actually has a twin brother. Like, are you kidding me? Twin brother? I'll tell you what, when I used to write stories in fifth grade, I would do the whole twin brother thing. You know, I'd like hold it back, hold it back, hold it back, and then bam, introduce the evil twin brother. And I thought I was a freaking genius using this writing technique in middle school. The twin brother. Well, that's the prestige for you. The old twin brother plot twist. Genius. But wait, there's more. And if that twist isn't bad enough, the next twist, aka the whole ending of the movie, is way worse. So basically this whole movie, this whole time, we think this thing takes place in the past. Basically, it takes place in like 1890s London. And while we know that the story is fiction, it seems like it's a story that actually could have happened. Kind of like Peaky Blinders, think that type of genre. But at the very end, at the very end of the movie, the final reveal, the final twist, is that Hugh Jackman is actually cloning himself in order to achieve the magic trick. And basically the twist is that every time he does the trick, he's actually killing himself or actually killing the clone. And that's the twist. But to me, this isn't actually the twist at all. To me, the twist is that Christopher Nolan basically just changes genres on us. At the very, very end, we learn that this is actually a sci-fi movie. So it's like anything goes, I guess. The twist is literally a genre change. It goes from like historical fiction to sci-fi. So like literally anything could happen. So I guess that's either the genius of Christopher Nolan or maybe this is just the laziest writing of all time. This was a clip from my podcast, The Cold Plunge Podcast. If you want to see more clips like this, be sure to subscribe on all major podcast platforms. And check out the links in the description of this video for more.